Diamonds are girl best friends. Diamonds are girl. Diamonds are girl. Oh, shit. Guys. Okay, bye bye. I want to make a quick little update video because the last time I was talking to you guys about my skin, I was really on a journey of understanding my hormones getting my stuff in check and literally my skin for me this is like major progress i'm not on any type of pills usually in the past for my skin to be somewhat clear i had to do some type of stuff to it or i had to be on birth control or something like this and that's not the case. I'm gonna do like a whole little breakdown of all the things that I did, all the people that I worked with, talked to, that helped me to understand my skin the way that I do now. And the path that I'm on now is just upwards and onwards, you guys. I mean, I'm not putting no synthetic stuff in my body. I'm not doing nothing like that. I'm literally just using a couple of products. And the main thing I'm doing is removing the stress from my life. Y'all, I had no idea that my inflammation was being just as much triggered by stress. Let me fix this baby hair or something and do something to that baby hair because that's getting on my nerves. Ugh. I hate when a baby hair is just looking stupid. I didn't really do nothing to my baby hairs today. I just was letting them ride out. But... A little bit of leave-in conditioner. Should do the trick. Can't go wrong with a little bit of can too. Yeah, no, that's better. That's better. It's getting me back right. You guys, I started looking back and thinking about all, all the times that my skin was at its best. And the one thing that I realized was yoga. Yoga was a really big part of my life. Yoga and working out was a really big part of my life. When I look back on the pictures where my skin was the best. As once I found out about the PCOS and realized that my hormones were going to be kind of out of whack for the rest of my life i was just like okay how can i control this how can i what can i do without adding anything i just really didn't want to be on no pills or nothing like that you know and, and the crazy thing about it is that it doesn't matter if you even have the same thing as somebody you might also have pcos or you know you you may have some of the th same similar things as somebody that still doesn't mean that everything's going to work for you so when i tell you guys i went through about 15 million different diets and over the course of each of these diets, my body just keeps getting better and better, but my skin just keeps getting worse and worse, and I'm not getting any more information on why. Like, why is my skin getting worse and worse? Why is the body getting banging? But the skin over here is like, meh, trying to figure it out. Like, you know, because I felt to myself, you know, for so long I've dealt with this issue, and I just said, hey, this is how I'm going to be for the rest of my life, but something happened. I did this movie, Alice, and in the movie, it just made me feel like, it just made the concept of freedom ring so loud into my brain that I said to myself that I'm not gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna do everything I can to have the happiness that I want. I just started doing all this research, found myself at this kind of like acupuncturist lady and they put all this stuff on you and try to find X, Y, Z with your body and do this electromagnetic thing or whatever like that. And come to find out you guys, <laughs> my stress, literally depletes me and the sad thing is that my body is so comfortable with stress and so the lady starts asking me think back to when you was a kid was there anything that you were uncomfortable with that you had to deal with and i was like well as a kid i was in i'm as an entertainer first of all in any job that you do you're gonna have to be in situations that you don't want to deal with or work with people that you don't want to work with you know not that anything crazy or drastic happened to me thank god but was I in situations where I had to deal with people I didn't want to deal with? Absolutely. And really from that conversation with her, I didn't really get all the answers. It was kind of just like, okay, it was still giving me that same thing of like leading me towards the real crux of the issue. And then I decided to take Instagram off my phone. I started to take Instagram off my phone, incorporating some different products. And I started amping up my yoga again. I started amping up like just low intensity workouts that also provide some type of meditation in them like uh, Pilates. I started doing a bunch of that and, and I started using this product, you know, it's so crazy. Your parents will tell you to use something all the time, 
and you won't use it because you think it's just some old school stuff. But then one of your friends will mention it to you and you'll be like, let me try that thing, girl. And you guys, my skin has completely did a 360. I mean, <laughs> what the hell is it? 360 is when it comes right back to you. But 180 is when it, you get me. When I tell you my skin has been literally clearing up like for real y'all so when i started incorporating the yoga and reincorporating those forms of meditations in my life that really started to control me control my my anxiety as i i've suffered with anxiety for years i wrote my first book on my anxiety and my depression and a lot of that is linked to pcos as well but anyway, I'm starting to see such huge changes. But I think the biggest thing, and it's interesting, I don't know what the spiritual connection is, but this battle that I have with stress or anxiety, the battle that I've dealt with all my life of dealing with anxiety and stress has been showing itself in such a physical form on my skin. And it was just like, I'm, I'm very interested to, like I said, as I continue to figure out how to give myself peace it's interesting how not only is my life transforming, but my physical appearance is transforming from releasing the stress out of my life. I entertain and, and, and through social media is one of those ways, but there really has to be a fine line. I say that to everybody because who, who knows how much all of us are being affected by the stress of just scrolling or just posting a picture. I, and I love Instagram. I'm gonna always continue to be on social media and use a platform, but my relationship with it is gonna change. And if, if I could say anything to the creators or the people of the Instagram is, if you guys can add a schedule ability within the format, like literally set your stuff up for scheduling to like come out on Tuesday at this time and that time, oh my gosh, I think it will save so many people's skin, health, uh, mental anxiety, everything because so many people use these platforms for work but they do bring a bunch of other stresses you know i hate to say it but it's true i want to be my best self in anything that i want to work on i want to do the research and i want to study and i want to figure it out and as i continue to go on this journey of just wanting to be everything i want to be like you know it might it seems like it's about the skin but it's about everything it's about coming for everything i want in life and not allowing anything to stop me from getting there. That's that's what it's about. As I continue to be on the search for peace and accessing peace within my love for what I do and in my love for people, how do I create those boundaries that are going to ultimately be most beneficial for my health? Anyway, you guys, I hope you guys have been good. 2021 started off Crazy, but I feel like we getting through, like we always get through. About to finish this makeup, cause I gotta do a video for work. That's really the main time that I, I love makeup, but sometimes I hate it too. You know, I have a, a love-hate relationship with it. I think it's cause I always gotta wear it so often for my dang going job. I just wanted to update you guys on a little bit and really talk about that stress thing. Try to get word to the Instagram folks. Hey, Instagram gods. Instagram gods or Instagram folks. Hook us up with that scheduled posting on the flat on the platform so we can have some mental peace. And so we can all have close skin. Get into it. Alright. Love y'all. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.